It seems impossible to place a price on a human life, but that's exactly what courts must do in wrongful death claims. Childs v. United States provides an example. Deborah Gordon, her unborn child, General, and her six-year-old goddaughter, Ashley Scott, died in a car accident caused by a mail truck in Savannah, Georgia. Deborah was 33 and worked as a grocery store manager, with a salary of $24,196. Deborah was single, but she had a large extended family and stayed close with all of them. Ashley was very close with her parents and earned excellent grades. Deborah's mother, Rosa Reese, and Ashley's mother, Lynette Childs, sued the United States for wrongful death under the Federal Tort Claims Act. Opposing expert witnesses calculated differing economic values for each decedent's life, but both made assumptions about the levels of education Ashley and General might have achieved and the occupations they might have had to calculate their lost future earnings. Also, the government argued that the damages should be limited to the economic values of the decedent's lives, minus income taxes and personal expenses the decedents would have incurred. After considering the facts and testimony, the district court took the case under advisement.